I'm going to be reading today from a book which is really not available anymore. It's out of print. You may be able to get it in the library or borrow it if you can get to a library or if your library works on any kind of a lending system that you can get to. I've written three books about the seasons, and since this is spring, I'm going to be reading just the introduction from Spring Across America. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the dedication page, because it's a photograph that I took of what happens in the spring. Flowers bursting into bloom on trees. And the book is dedica dedicated, and I'll read the dedication to you, with love for Benjamin Simon, my new grandson, born in the spring. And this morning I spoke to Ben on the phone, and he's no longer a, a baby. He's now a fully grown man, and he's working on computers. From the dedication, I'm going to be turning to the introductory page, and it's really the only page in this book that I will be reading for you today. And let me show you the photograph that goes along with the page, because there's another photograph of the spring that I took, the spring that I wrote this book. Spring sweeps up the American continent like an incoming ocean tide. On the average, spring flows 100 miles northward each week. In three months, spring moves from the southern tips of Florida, Texas, and California to the northern edges of Maine and Washington. Spring begins on the calendar on or about March 21st, the spring or vernal equinox. On the equinox, day and night are of equal length all over the world, and the northern hemisphere begins to slant more and more toward the sun. But the first day on the calendar often does not feel like the first spring day. Early spring in the northern states is often cold and snowy, and winter seems reluctant to leave. But as early as mid-February, swelling buds on trees and the appearance of crocuses announce the arrival of spring. Spring in America means heavy rains and late snows. It means birds flying north, trees and grasses pushing out new green leaves, wildflowers bursting into bloom, and the sound of spring peepers. Spring is a season of beginnings, a signal of a renewal of life across America. And I'd like each of you to have a very happy and wonderful spring.